Hey guys, welcome back to Midweek Escape Artist. I don't know if you guys saw my um, my YouTube short, but our last camp got winded out and I lost my fly and two of my tent poles. So <laughs> I'm trying to do a little bit of a catch up video today. Um, so in the journey of finding the perfect way to cook over an open fire while I'm camping has led me to a few different sort of fire pit kind of ideas. Um, I actually made my own a few years back and had it laser cut and it folds together and it's very cool. The problem is it's incredibly heavy. Um, it's not practical to bring it to a campsite. Um, I've had a look at some of the other sort of style fire pits that are available and the folding ones and the, the conical ones and the boxy ones and like none of them really actually ever appealed to me. Um, but recently I stumbled onto a, a new fire pit that I hadn't seen before um, and it's by a brand called Bare Bones. Now, it's two individual pieces, and I'll run you through both of those right now. Um, but I think it's great, and uh, we're going to review them today. I've got an epic meal planned, and we're going to go through that and uh, see what we get. So, hang out, and let's have a look at it. So, guys, here it is. This is the Bare Bones Cowboy Charcoal Grill and Grill Grate. Both of them fit in the same bag, which is great, and it's actually incredibly lightweight for what it is. Um, even the bag is quite cool. It's like a nice sort of canvas bag. I really like it, but let's get into it. Let's have a look. So, the first thing I'll do is I'll take out the actual grill. So, they call this the charcoal basket or the charcoal grill, and that's what it is. It's gorgeous. It's really well made. It's got handles on both sides if you need to move it around. Obviously, be prepared to be, you know, have some gloves on because it'll be hot. But it's really well made. It's made out of steel, made in China, but by a B Corporation. So I feel kind of okay about that. Uh, the quality looks really, really good. It's got this gorgeous black anodized steel. It's lovely quality, very, very nice. And it's got these little removable feet as well. So if you needed to take them off and sort of really get this slimmed down, you can. But it's got a nice height off the ground you can obviously put a fire protector underneath if you need to but um that's really that's really it um i'll show you on the uh, on the clip real quick just where the link is in the video um, and where the link is on their website but it's brilliant i actually bought mine from a company called botanex um they had stock of it weirdly in australia and um, bought it and it came really quickly so i'm quite stoked with that but let me show you the rest of it so in here is the grill part of it now these are two separate pieces you need to buy um, but they fit in really well and you'll actually see on the on the bare bones website that they market them together so have a look at that this grill or grate fits nicely directly over there and there's your fire pit and cooking solution all in one I think that is incredible. I don't think it fits inside, it fits on top. That is amazing. All self-contained, that all fits in together. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do today, we're going to be making some skewers on this tonight. And uh, I'm very excited to try that. I want to see exactly how much I can get onto the surface. But it's really good quality. These legs are fantastic. It's a branded little logo there for you. And as you can see, that is so small and flat and lightweight. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's great. Um, but what I'll do now is we're going to get a fire going. And uh, I've got some hungry people to feed tonight. So I guess uh, I guess we should get started. All right. Hold on. Stay with me. We'll see how we go. Cool. <coughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> oh, that's very cool. I love that. Hey guys, so it's time to get these on. I'm gonna stick the grill on the fire and uh, we're gonna start cooking. Okay. Enjoying this one, Mary. Sorry. <laughs> Good thing you did the voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one though, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> 